Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to give you an update on the 100 buses that the government recently ordered for the JUTC. So the new buses are to arrive in Jamaica in July of this year, July 2024. Now the goal is to get the buses in Jamaica and deployed to the depots before school starts in September. So the JUTC is the main bus service in Jamaica. They're the government owned bus service. And they have a serious shortage of buses. They need 400 buses to operate efficiently, every, to roll out every day 400, and they have about 200. So the government is working overtime to get more buses in. The plan is to order 300 buses over the next three years. And this first set of 100 will be the allotment for this year. Now, these buses have been assembled and they, they're all assembled and finished and they're at the port and they should be shipped between June 10 and 12 for arrival between July 12 and 15 in Jamaica. So the buses should be on the ships now or being loaded on to be shipped to Jamaica. Now the government put out a video showing the buses that are assembled and ready to go. So these new buses Okay, and I'm just going to read an article that gives more information on what's going on. In the coming months, the Jamaica Urban Transit Company's fleet is said to be further bolstered with the arrival of an additional 100 buses. The Minister Without Portfolio in the Office of the Prime Minister with responsibility for information, skills and digital transformation Dr. Dana Morris Dixon said the buses could arrive as early as July. Transport Minister Daryl Vaz stated that the 100 compressed natural gas buses were completely manufactured. And the buses are to arrive in July, which is well ahead of the opening of the 2024-25 school year in September. And then it says 100 JUTC buses are to be shipped between June 10 and 12 and scheduled for arrival between July 12 and 15. These new buses will make 170 additional buses that have been added to the fleet since Minister Vaz has taken his appointment about a year ago, Morris Dix noted. Speaking in the House of Representatives earlier in the year, Vaz said the CNG fuel buses are expected to arrive in time for the start of the 2024-25 academic school year in September. He said the buses are to form part of 300 mixed energy units that the government will be acquiring over the next three years to boost the state-run JUTC's fleet and address the needs in the public transportation system. The JUTC operates on over 70 routes in Kingston, St. Andrew, Portmore, and Spanish Town. Alright, that's the end of the update article. So, the 70 buses that arrived, arrived I think in two parts, no, actually three parts. 50 came, then 8, then 12. They have been deployed and they are working great. So an additional 100 will come in time for the start of the school year. So we'll keep you guys updated on the arrival of these buses. All right, guys. Thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.